Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you all nine collection chests in the South Hogwarts region here in Hogwarts Legacy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So starting in the South Hogwarts region, we're gonna head down here to Lower Hogsfield. We're gonna have three collection chests down here. So we're gonna go ahead and take the Lower Hogsfield Flu Flame. And after taking this Flu Flame, we're going to turn around and we're gonna go through the gates and go through this first house on the left. So we'll have two houses here. We're gonna go into the one on the left. And there is going to be a level one lock on this. So we'll need Alahamora to get in. So go ahead and unlock this door. And once this door opens up, we're going to go inside and immediately look left. And just behind the door here, you're going to have your first collection chest. Now, after grabbing this one, we're going to go back outside and we're going to go to the back side of this house. We'll go up here and go all the way around to the back. And just behind the house, we're going to have our second collection chest. So we'll grab this one. And then we're going to continue to go around the back side following this path down to the lake. And you guys will see that down here in this little area where the water is, we're going to have a cart that's upside down. Our third chest is going to be inside of this cart. So come around the corner here and there you go. You've got your three collection chests here in Lower Hogsfield. Now that you've collected those three chests, we're going to head over to the town of Erinshire, which is east of the Hogwarts Castle. And we're going to take the Erinshire Flu Flame that's located right here. Now, after taking this flu flame, we're going to start from left to right. So as soon as you spawn in, you guys are going to see this wooden gate here. We're going to go through this gate into the vegetable garden. And in the back of the garden, we're going to have a pile of rocks. We're going to use Confringo or Depulso to move those rocks. And here will be your first chest location. Now, after we grab this chest, we're going to turn around and head back outside of the vegetable garden. And we're going to go left and go into this first house here. Now there is a level one lock, so you will need Alahamora to get through here, but go ahead and unlock this door. Now once this door unlocks, we're gonna go in and immediately look down into the right, and right here is gonna be our next collection chest. Now after grabbing this chest, we're gonna head back outside and we're gonna go to the small little hut that's to the left. And this door is gonna have a level three lock, so you'll need Alahamora three to get through here. But once you acquire that, go ahead and unlock this door. And once this door opens up, all we gotta do is go inside and here in the back right corner, we'll have our next collection chest. Now, after we grab this chest, we're gonna turn around, go back outside and continue left. And just to our left here over this wall is gonna be a two-story house. We're gonna go to the front door. This one is only gonna be a level one lock. So once you have Alahamora, go ahead and open this door. And once this door opens up, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna make our way to the second floor. So the stairs will be right here on your left. We can go all the way up the stairs. And once we get upstairs, you guys will find over here in front of the bed, our next collection chest. Now, after grabbing that chest, we're going to grab one more chest here in Erinshire that's not going to pop up on the map. And the reason for that is because it's locked behind some side quests. So just to the left of the flu flame, you guys can see where I'm looking. We're going to have a vendor. You're going to want to walk up to this vendor and speak to him. And this is going to start a side quest. Now, after speaking with Edgar, he's going to ask us to go to a cave and find an heirloom. So what we're going to do is open up our map and we're going to head north and we're going to come over here to the North Ford Bog entrance flu flame. And we're going to work our way down to where this marker is to enter the cave. Now, after you enter the cave and make your way through the cave, you're going to have to fight this giant spider. And after defeating this spider, we'll be able to complete our quest. Now, after defeating the giant spider on the west side of your compass, there'll be a little hole over here in the mountain and over here in this hole there's going to be a web you're going to use confringo to break through that web and when you come back here you'll see a chest the heirloom is going to be right in front of the chest you guys can see the heirloom pocket watch now that we're back in Erinshire, we're going to talk to edgar and give him the heirloom now after you've completed this side quest in Erinshire, there's one more thing that we need to do to get our next collection chest and that is to start another side quest so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to hogsmeade and once in Hogsmeade, we're going to go down here to the three broomsticks. And in the three broomsticks, we're going to have a quest that we're going to look for, not a friend indeed, but Tangled Web. This is the quest that we want to start. So we can select that, head over to Hogsmeade, and once inside, we'll walk up and we're going to speak to this guy by the fireplace. His name is Crispin. So go ahead and speak with him. Now, after Crispin gives you his dialogue, we're going to reopen our map, click on the world map, and we're going to go back to Erinshire and take the Erinshire Flu Flame. Now, once we're turning to Erinshire, you're going to have a lot of spiders spawn in. So we're going to have to fight about five or six spiders here. Now, after you're finished taking out the spiders, we're going to go behind the building that's just to the right of the Flu Flame. So facing the Flu Flame here, there's this little house right on the right side. We're going to go on the back side of it. We'll go through the vegetable garden over the wall. And on the back side of it, we're now able to enter Mary Portman's cellar. Now, once you spawn into the cellar, we're going to go toward the back of the room and we're going to take a right. We're going to go down here, take a left, take another left. And when we get over here, we're going to find a ladder. Now we're going to climb down this ladder and this is going to lead us into what is essentially the spider cave. What we're going to have to do throughout this quest is go through here and just defeat a bunch of spiders and destroy all the egg sacks on the wall. 
Now I've already done so to make this easier to follow through, but as you work your way through the cave, it'll ask you to go to different locations to find all the egg sacs. And that's what you'll do is you'll just travel along to find all the egg sacs. But once you get down here, the way to the final boss room after collecting the, the egg sacs is just gonna be straight. So once you come down here, we're gonna continue to go straight down this direction. And we're just gonna go straight all the way as far as we can. We're gonna end up going down a little spiral area here. And once we get down here, we'll make it to the boss room. Now, this is where you'll fight the giant spider. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. But the chest is actually located in this room in the far back right. So if you come all the way back here in the boss room, you'll get your next collection chest here. Now that you've got your eighth chest, all we need to do is grab one more. And that's going to be located on the far eastern side of the South Hogwarts region. So from Erinshire up here on the hill on the far east, we're going to have a medium bandit camp. So if you don't have this on your mini map, it's going to be just east of these trees up on the hill. So just place a marker up here. We'll go ahead and take the Erinshire flu flame. And from here, you can just hop on your broomstick and we can fly up the hill toward where you place that marker so the small bandit camp will be up here behind these trees you guys can already start to see the top of the tents now i've already completed the bandit camp when you're up here you'll fight six or seven enemies as well as a couple zombies uh, but once you're up here you guys will see the tent now to the right of the tent is going to be this double staircase looking thing we're going to go underneath it on the left side and once we go back here, there's going to be a couple boxes. You can go behind the boxes and you'll be able to get your last collection chest right here. But this is how to get all nine collection chests here in the South Hogwarts region in Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.